Hey guys, welcome back to another video for my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an update sub tour. I did do one in February 2021, February, March, that kind. And we got some update stuff over here as you can see. So let's do that again. So let's get started. Okay, so when you come to a room, you're going to see this but at the door we got some hoodies over here like with the old sale tour we also got this same light switch this one's for the outside this one's for the outside light and this is in the room light this is the trash can we have over here some tripods which are broken Umbrella, we got some boxes and then a ton of bags, school bags, and that. Then we got this box over here. I got a new keyboard, and I'll show you it later in the video. Moving on, we got my bookshelf. We got this lamp over here, LED. Got some sprays over here with a cup and this is second spray. Then we got this corner over here. We got a jar with school supplies and all that stuff. Money got here. A pen, some more phone holder for a tripod, sunglasses, a laser, which still work, which works as you can see. Got another pen. It's got this SD card adapter. This did come with the SD card I had. I have in my phone right now, and then we got this HDMI screencaster. We got some books over here, and then we got the hard, the old hard drive for, which came from my HP laptop. So I upgraded the 5400 RPM hard drive, which I showed you from this HP laptop, and I replaced it with a 480 gig A400 SSD from Kingston. And now it's booting up much faster, it's way faster than it was before. And the disk usage isn't always on 100%, like it was on that hard drive. Over here we got some other supplies. We got this smartphone holder for, for a running strap. We got some earphones over there. There they are. It's pretty dark over here, so I'll turn on the flash. Got this adapter over here. It is charged for a smartwatch. Then charges for electric two brushes. And then we got this camcorder. Which does work. But the battery is dead. So it doesn't turn on. I'll show you the features from this pretty old 40p camcorder so we got six hours and 15 six hours to 15 hours of recording 16 gigs of 16 gigs of storage a three hour battery life time lapse recording and it's YouTube compatible well that doesn't matter since you can just since you can just transfer the clips from your camera or if you're recording from an SD card, just pop the SD card in your PC and transfer data and start editing. So that doesn't really matter. Moving on, we got the last shelf over here. We got another smartphone. We got another uh, cable for smartwatch charger. We got these Argos books over here. It's a British store. And then we got this headset box. From the headset I currently use, the Genesis Neon 200s, I'll show you them later in the video. Moving on, I got my bed over here. I, I did move my bed over here, where my desk usually used to stay. It used to stay over here, but now it's over here. And then we got this pillow over here. And then got my desk. And there's, my, and there's that for my brother, and there's a box right here. And then we got this window over here, which you can see the outside world. 
poor dogs are staying in there. And then we got a piggy bank, a paper, and a battery in the, with this clock, which we don't use. Then we got this heater, and then another window. And then we got this drawer here, which, which keeps jeans and shirts, and pi and blankets and pillows. Then over here we got pajamas. And over here we got pants and socks. Now before we move on to the actual setup, we got a display area over here. And we got the surge protector, which isn't for display. It's not exactly a surge protector, it's just a power strip. And then we got then we got my old keyboard, which came from the Command G2 combo. Which my mouse also came in, but I replaced that. So this is a memory keyboard, which I upgraded to a mechanical keyboard, which I'll show you later, and I'll sound test that. Anyways, here's a sound test of the... I don't have to show you a sound test because I already did one. It's up on my TikTok. Moving on, we got this Acer Iconia 1.7 tablet. Running Android 4, but the issue is the... The battery isn't working, so he all, so he has to plug it into the charger to work. But the but the other issue is it's also boot looping. And then I got this Actel U5, which is running Android six, one gig of RAM and eight gigs of storage. It's very slow. And then we got faster phone here, the Actel Lion four, which I used to which I used to use as my recording phone. I'll get back to using this later. I'll get back to using this another time. I think the battery is low right now in here, so for now, so for now, I'm just recording on my main phone. Moving on, I got my I got my old laptop. You may remember this from my old setup tour. This is the HP two hundred and fifty G seven, and the specs. I'll tell you them right now. It has an Intel Core i three seven twenty U, two cores. Yes, dual core for an i3, four gigs of RAM, and the integrated Intel HD six twenty graphics, which came from the i3 seventy twenty U, and it also has four hundred and eighty gigs of storage, which is which that's from the SSD. I did get a twenty gigabyte downgrade. However, this was a 500 gig hard drive. However, it was a hard, spinning hard drive and it was only 5400 RPM. It was pretty slow, so I replaced it with the Kingston 400. And right now, I'll show you how fast the boot times are. They're significantly faster than how they were in the hard drive. Look how fast that is. And even opening stuff up is way faster. Like for example, if I open up the file explorer over here, it opens up way faster. It's still running Windows 10 though, because the CPU isn't supported yet for Windows 11. My main machine though is running Windows 11, completely fine. However, however, there's a catch. I did, I did get the leaked build for Windows 11 to. So we're just fine on this without changing anything, even though the CPU isn't supported. Moving on, we got some other stuff here. We got this webcam, 1080p, 30fps, the charger for my HP, the Celestial flip phone, and then some other stuff. Moving on, we got my brother's books, some other stuff over here, which there's some crappy mouse pad in here, which... Here it is. I was I was using this mouse pad back then when I first got this HP. It was my first ever laptop, by the way. Before I got this, I was just sticking to my dad's PC, which has an a Celeron G1840 and four gigs of RAM. Which has a Celeron G1840, four gigs of RAM, Intel HD graphics again. And uh, I forgot to mention four gigs of four gigs of 
DDR3 RAM, not DDR4. It has a 700 watt power supply, which is not A plus rated. So it's basically a bomb. An HA1 motherboard from Asus. And that's it. I forgot to mention it also have 320 gigs of storage. It's wrong is rocking a Western Digital Caviar Blue 320 gig hard drive. I don't know what the RPM is, 5400 or 7200. Moving on here on my and now let's get to the actual setup. So this is my chair. And then we got some clothes over here. And now let's go through everything that's on the desk. So first I have my main machine is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3 1590 I did do a review a review on this I got the blue version this laptop comes with yeah it's a pretty budget laptop if you want a game but this laptop yes it's a pretty good laptop for for just $450 it has a Ryzen 5 3500U 3.7 gigahertz 4 cores and 8 threads so it, it has 4 cores and 8 threads so it's basically a Ryzen 3 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, only clocked at 2400 MHz by the way, and has Radeon Vega 8 graphics, which are pretty good. This laptop, however, is being cooled by this extracting cooler, and, and, it's con and it has red LEDs as you can see over here. As you can see here, all my cables are hidden under the cooler. And this laptop is running Windows 11 at the moment. It does have fingerprint. So as you can see right here, it's running Windows 11 just fine. Now let's get on to my peripherals. So this is my new keyboard. It's the Y-Chart Spartan. It's in a TKL form factor. And it comes with Audio Blue switches. Now I'm going to hit you with a sound test. It can also change lighting modes, for example, this is the first one. Then you can change it to just st static, and then feed, and then this, and then from the other side, and then spreading, and then from the other side, and, and like that. And then just turn off RGB. And if you press a button, it it'll light up all the it'll light up all the buttons that are around it. So I'll just change it to the mode it is. Moving on, I got my mouse. This is the Fury Gladiator. I got this back in like 2020. And it's doing pretty good. It has... It, it has a 3200 DPI sensor, just like with my old mouse. And then for the mouse pad, I got this. This is the same mouse pad from the last video, which came with the combo. And then this is my headset. It's the Genesis Neon 200, like I mentioned, Neon 200 RGB. This is a pretty good upgrade from my old headset. The white shark headset that came with the combo, but those broke, so I had to sell with two head. First was the Fury Phantom. And I can't turn on flash right now because the battery's low on my phone. First I got these headsets. First I got that headset. And then for my birthday, I got the, this Genesis Neon 200 headset. And it's pretty good for now. It's RGB. RGB more FPS. And everything on my setup right here is being placed on this Linmon desk from Ikea. And then for my display area, I don't know. There's just some from brand brand. I don't know what it is. So... But the catch is this desk has scratches, loads of scratches. Yeah, loads of scratches. So I was planning on replacing the desk with another desk from IKEA. It's the Lack Captain with Alex Ro 
with an Alex drawer and I don't know what the legs are. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the video like this. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.